Well, we've been talking about this year's top policy priorities for the beef industry. Now, NCBA takes a lot of pride in being an organization where those policy discussions begin at the state and even the county level. Cattlemen to Cattlemen reporter Brian Baxter introduces us to the Wyoming cattlemen who will help lead this important process. Wyoming's King Ranch is a cow-calf and yearling operation where Mark Isley serves as general partner and manager working alongside his family. My daughters are involved, my son is involved, uh, my son-in-law has come back to work with us uh, full time. He has cattle and equipment. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a wonderful thing. Uh, when you can work with family and it's good, it's great. We uh, are both private and public lands. We run on the National Forest. It's about 8,600 foot elevation. That has its challenges in itself. Uh, we uh, run red and black Angus cattle. They go into uh, branded programs. Uh, we're an agent source and we also are BQA producers. So I uh, practice what I preach and also what I've learned in our uh, trade shows and all of our podcasts. It's great stuff. Anybody who doesn't take advantage of it is really missing out. Mark has spent a lifetime in the cattle business and is a longtime member of both the Wyoming Stock Growers and NCBA. In 2021, he's serving in a national leadership role, chairing NCBA's policy division. I am excited about everything involving uh, my job as the new policy chairman. Uh, there are so many things for us to do and so many challenges for us to meet. Uh, sometimes I don't know where to start, but it's like eating elephants. You just take a bite and keep working through it till you get it whipped. Let's get one thing straight about NCBA policy. It is driven from the grassroots up. Uh, it can be an individual. They can work it up through their state association or bring it to us directly through the proper committee channels. Uh, if it moves forward and we don't have a, a conflicting policy or policy that already uh, covers that area, then we go ahead and, uh, and march forward. That's our marching orders. And uh, that's what we'll do our best, whether it's a uh, policy or a, or a directive, we will work. And when I say we, that means both the, the officer team, the leadership, and the, uh, the staff. And uh, we work uh, out in front, and staff gives us support. It's, uh, it's a very wonderful team that has been put together, and uh, I'm excited about the possibilities. While there's never a shortage of work on a ranch, Mark firmly believes cattle producers around the country need to get involved and work together to influence policies at the state and national level. I represent everybody on policy, but uh, so whatever their concerns are, those are my concerns. We're going to have our challenges and we need to stay engaged, whether it's at your county level, your state legislature, uh, regionally or even nationally. Uh, we're going to have our challenges in D.C., and I say that NCBA and staff. Uh, leadership has done a lot of reaching out. We've already established a lot of those relationships. We're making sure we're reassessing those and making sure that it's putting us in a good uh, position with all the things that are involved, marketing, uh, international trade, uh, global beef demand, uh, regional issues, anything you can think. You, you need to participate if you can't physically participate, join and keep us informed and, and give us some feedback. That's why we're here is to work with and improve your, uh, your business climate as a producer. Mark says he values the fact that while he's home feeding cattle, there's a professional staff in place pursuing the policies that NCBA members have set as their priorities. I'm Brian Baxter reporting for Cattlemen to Cattlemen.